it's a special thing playing at Budweiser. I mean, you don't get a chance, you know, as a club hockey player to play in front of four or 5,000 fans, mostly all Ram fans cheering for you. So to play the team that you, you despise, you know, in front of you, that many players, you know, that many fans, it's, it's a cool feeling. So it's, you know, you don't get to play in venues like that too often. The team that's going to win this game is the team that's going to do the little things, right? No stupid penalties, out of our zone, into their zone, blocking shots, you know, quick changes, getting pucks on net, going to the net hard, all those little things. That's what's going to win this game. I only got to play here once. This is the one game I remember. I don't remember Nationals. I don't remember going to Eastern. I don't remember any of that. I remember the Budweiser game and playing in front of 5,000 of my own fans and winning the game. That's the only game I remember from college. So enjoy it. Let's go boys, come on. Let's go boys. Get that song on. Come out as a unit. Get that song on. Play the body. Let's go play CSU hockey right now. Let's go. CSU One, two, three. CSU! Let's go CSU! Let's go CSU! Let's go CSU! Well, at the, at the Bud Center, that's quite a special atmosphere and uh, it was really, really intense, and uh, we had to come out flying, and, and we beat them in the Pepsi Center, we beat them here. The Rams started off strong with a quick goal from their freshman forward. Uh, on the first goal, uh, Mr. LaCasey, back on the defense, uh, he was holding it down in the zone. He ended up walking out, beating a couple guys from our own on net. He actually fanned on the pass, and the pass worked out perfect. It went right in between both the defensemen. So the defensemen kind of stepped back a little bit, so I ended up just going and poke checking it through both of them, and then uh, I managed to get to the puck, and I just pulled the trigger. Yeah! <laughs> Despite Waring's quick goal, CSU was not able to hold down the buffs for long. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was um, a big game and a big venue, so the guys, I think, were a little nervous, first of all. And then when Waring got that nice goal right off the bat, um, I think a lot of the people thought, oh, well, let's just make all the pretty moves and, uh, and not have to earn the goals the way we usually do. Protect the house, right? Protect the house. Less than a minute later, the Rams took the lead again on a goal by their senior captain. Great pass from uh, Eric off the half wall to me down the corner and they just left me in the corner so I just walked it out and stepped right around the goalie and pretty much into an open net and it was just an awesome feeling to score a goal in front of that crowd. After the buff quickly evened it up at two, it was clear that CSU's frustration was mounting. Protect the house, okay? Clean up the rebounds, D. Right? Put those guys on their ass instead of letting them get the puck. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Come on now. After several brawls between the two heated rivals, the first period came to a close with the score nodded at two. We don't have to say much, I mean. That wasn't the best period we've had. We were getting outworked, and so I just was telling them to, to pull it together and outwork the other team. And in hockey, a lot of times, that's all that matters. If you go out and outwork the other team, you're going to win nine out of 10 times. After a scoreless second period, the Rams had to come out strong in the third. But the Buffaloes had a different plan. Would the Rams be able to come back, or would more than 4,000 fans head home disappointed? It was kind of one of those surreal moments when they scored uh, the go-ahead goal because I was, I mean, there was just no panic. We were all just kind of like, all right, let's just wait for our chances and it'll come. We kept positive on the bench and we, we just stuck to the game plan. And we weren't getting outplayed by any means and we were starting to get our chances, so. It was a matter of whether our power play was going to come through for us or not, and it did. The crowd
crowd got it back into the game. And that's one of the things we talked about in between periods was you got all those people out there with their energy and they're basically sitting on their hands right now. Let's let's get them as you know to be a part of this game and um, and you know Paul's goal did just that and then we just we just fed off of that and uh, we pretty much owned them the set last half of that period I thought. We had a great, great uh, momentum. I could almost feel it really when we lined up for that face off. Nick was doing his job in front of the net, just causing, causing havoc, getting in front, not letting the goalie see anything. So he was doing great there. Schmoot had it on the point and uh, he fumbled it a little bit, managed to do a behind the back pass to me. The defense and backed off. I took the shot and uh, there was a perfect screen there by uh, Mr. Burge. I mean, it's it's a whole different animal when you're a coach because you know usually you'd be out there and it's hard to sit back and watch other guys try and do it, but just try and keep everyone calm and and tell them to you know keep doing their job and and you know play a little bit more defensively. <laughs> There's nothing quite like that. Uh, it's one of the best games I can remember in my entire life. Oh, it was just excitement. The crowd was just going nuts. It was awesome to be in front of the majority of our fans. It was just awesome to hold that cup up in front of everyone and just show them that we're the better team. Just being there with all the home crowd and uh, just standing in the middle, putting our sticks up for them. And it really, we wanted to win for them and give give the whole uh, the whole town something to cheer about so uh, it's always good to beat CU and in that kind of atmosphere and setting there's nothing quite like it. Nothing beats your last year playing against CU, the rivals, it's just awesome feeling to have the rest of the team play with you guys and help help for the W for the seniors. It was a great win for all the seniors out there, so it was awesome. It's great for the guys. They've, Like I said, they've really battled hard this year, and to start off as, as poorly as we did in that game, and then to go down a goal in the third, at the beginning of the third, to battle all the way back and to, and to win is awesome. I mean, you know, Waring had a couple huge goals. It couldn't happen to a better kid. Kid works hard, comes to practice every day with a smile on his face. First guy on the ice, last guy off the ice. You know, I'm so glad he got those two goals. That's hard. Good third. I mean, we were down. We stayed together. We battled. I mean, that was that was awesome. The end result is, uh, you know, hopefully these guys uh, grow as people through the experience of, uh, you know, four four years of hard work and dedication to this team and to themselves and to the school. Just some way to get involved at CSU. To be part of the university, to get recognized by the university, get to wear the school colors, get to go out and compete against other universities and colleges and say you play for CSU. These athletes go out and travel over 200 trips out of state per year. They're, they're traveling all the time to go out and promote CSU across the country. And they're really being good ambassadors for the university. The end result is get an education, uh, get a great job, uh, where you can support your family. and. Uh, and live a successful life but be able to look back on this experience in college and say wow I'm really glad that I made the commitment to uh, to do that and uh, and just personally I hope that I make you know some point a part of a or some type of a difference in their lives or a, you know a positive experience anyways. <laughs>